Welcome back, guys, to Fire Emblem Engage. Well, last episode, we finished off our skirmish in the desert for Chapter 12, The Sentinels, rescuing the locals from the corrupted to gain some nice rewards. Afterwards, Fogado took us to Solm Palace, where we learned he was a prince, as meanwhile elsewhere, our enemies plot. Huh? <laughs> Stolen, miserable, torn apart from your friends. How delicious. Lady Vale. Zephia, tell me, what are the Divine Dragon's forces up to? They pass through the Shadowy Moor. It appears they've arrived in Solm. So they did not return to Brodia. They're gathering more rings. Good. Can we go after them, Lady Vale? I'm itching for a rematch. Patience, Marnie. If we wait, we can steal Solm's ring from them along with the others. Oh, smart. I'll be a good girl and wait then. You are a treasure, Marnie. Isn't she just the pride of the Four Hounds? <laughs> you two really keep on the praise. That's why I love ya. <laughs> You're such a child. Praise is for chumps. It's much more fun to be punished. Worry not, Gris. You will soon have all the agony your heart could want. That's what I like to hear. The perks of the gig right there. And you, Mavir? How would you like to be rewarded? Nothing for me, my lady. You won't even say my name. How cold. Uh... That's all right. For now, we wait. We watch. And then, when the time comes... <clears throat> lady Vale? I've been awake for too long. I must sleep. Here are your instructions. Zephia, take charge. As you wish. Nice sprites. The front with the little quiff. Yes. Are we at the castle at the Somnial? I don't even know where we are anymore. Are we having a meeting? Are we talking? Okay, we've gone back to the Somnial. I was wondering if things were just going to continue onwards. Hello. Thank you for inviting me. The area is quite tasty. I'm eager to use my skills in the kitchen. I'm sure you are, Bune. Bune, Bune. What is going on in each location? We've got some nuts. Right. Well, what do we do in between chapters? Are there any supports awaiting? That is the question. We've got fishing to do, but we should probably sitch it over to night now, which is going to be a bit of a bother. There's a tent here now. Okay, what's this about? Aha. Uh -huh. Bought in the big one not too long ago. It's a shame you weren't here to see it. I mean, I give you a, I give you a spirit gem if you like. Well done. This is exactly his style, is it? Well, I was just looking around. There's more stuff been going up in the meantime, and I haven't even realised the stuff's been added to everything. Okay, Lucina's out here with Vanda hanging out. Never know when more stuffness might be get put in and you don't even realize it's there. Alright, let's just get uh, my quick feeding and patting of Somi done and then we'll decide what to do next. I think we should embark on a bit of gathering of supports. That's why I think we'll see out a session, see out an episode with. Don't want to end in the middle of something, if you know what I mean. What's something left behind? Yeah, but we picked him up and did the petting. My beautiful pet is curled down by my feet at the moment. He's all cute in a little bundle, little cute little, little kitty cat. I'll show you if you want. <laughs> uh. My beautiful kitty cat. She's just a big 
pile of blackness. <laughs> Having a nice sleep on the beanbag. Chilling out. Oh, she woke up, she realized. What are you doing? I didn't, she's just looking the evil in me like, I didn't say you could put me on camera. She looks right out of it. <laughs> Incredible. This is the thumbnail, the holiest of the holy places. Divine one I'm on it, it's heavenly. Would you like a pretty pebble? Thank you. He does like pretty pebbles. You want like another pretty pebble? Thank you. Two pretty pebbles are the price of a conversation. We found we found his purchase thing. Do I have any other supports apart from that? No, just those two for today. Ah, divine one. Just the dragon I was hoping to see. I could use a favor. Oh? What kind of favor? I'm hosting a party soon, and I'd like for you to be there. At our church, you're the center of our everything. Our deity. I think your attendance would really raise everyone's spirits. Hmm. Tell me more about this party. What is it going to be like? Oh, nothing formal. Just an occasion to sing, dance, and have a good time. You can blow off some steam and lend an ear to the other guests. Hear their stories. That sounds fun. But what does my listening to people have to do with anything? Don't you see? It would be incredibly encouraging to everyone. The first time I saw you with my own eyes was like... <laughs> like seeing the light. <laughs> You're coming on a little strong. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a little intense there, didn't I? Anyway, it's short notice, so there's no need to let me know right away. But I'll tell you, I don't throw so-so parties. If I'm hosting it, you know it'll be a blowout. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Divine One. I think we're going to make a goal of trying to get everyone's C supports with Aaliyah. Which doesn't leave that many people, actually. So we're looking at Fogado, Bune, Zeldkampf, Kagetsu, Jade, Amber, Lapis, Etie. And we haven't got it with Etie yet. I guess only a certain amount of people are actually here on the uh, Somniel to gift or give to at any one time. Oh my god, the dog farm. <laughs> hey! Hey! Some of them did good work. They deserve extra kibble. I'm sure. Still gotta get prepared for more. Go on, look, it's chapter 12 now. Give me an extra difficulty in this stuff, for goodness sake. So. I'm here for strength training. No, I'm actually gonna gift you something first of all. Do you like pretty pebbles? Thanks. Not that much. What about spirit gem? Oh, King! It was you, it's hard! Wow! <laughs> huh? What's up? You're looking at me kind of weird. Sorry. I didn't mean any offense. I just couldn't help it. Is there something wrong with how I look? Oh, no. Nothing like that. Then tell me why you're laughing already. <laughs> well, you know how you're always so confident? Huh? I was thinking about how plain it is on your face. There's confidence all over you. It's kind of inspiring to look at. Which is why you were staring. Forgive me, Etie. If it bothers you, I'll stop. Nah, I don't mind. I'm actually a little honored to help out the Divine One. If staring at me lifts your mood, go ahead and stare all you want. Thank you. I mean, it's a little embarrassing, but a quick jog will help get my mind off it. See you around, Divine One. It's not usually okay to just walk up to someone, look at them, and like laugh at them. <laughs> For whatever reason. So Very nice. That's a bit weird. What'll it be? I think you can handle this. Hard difficulty has level How has been added. Go? Right, hard push-ups. Got to go through the entire category again. Okay, what makes it hard? It's just faster or oh, smaller. And 25. Keep it up. Oh man, only a good. 
Sammy, help me out. Perfect. What are you even here for? You've got this. Looking good. Nice. Wow, he's done more push-ups than any gamer. <laughs> Perfect. I want S plus plus. You've got this. Twenty-five makes it a little harder. Keep it up. Oh no, near good. No! Nice! No! Keep it up! Oh, come on! Looking good! Perfect! You have to be quite predictive, don't you? Nice! Oh, that's probably only going to be an S. Oh, I'm S so plus proud. plus, I'm the best! How much strength do I get? Only two still. Wait, what? You don't get more stats for going at a higher Let's level? Let's do this again sometime. What the? What? That would be the most common sense thing to do is you get plus three strength instead. That's right. Do you agree or not? Uh, I think I've already got sport with you. Thank you. have you. a pebble though. If you're going up a difficulty, we should get a little bit more to also cope with how the game's advancing. Yeah? Though, to be honest, plus two strength is ridiculously good, so plus three strength would be very good. We'll get another stat with it as well. Yeah, you could do it that way. I'll try to balance it out a little bit that way around. Right, we're going to have to track down some people we haven't got to uh, bond with yet, so that's going to be a thing. The boutique is new stock and the tower trail's new map. Oh, this is... This is this was always an option to see what's going on. Oh, okay. So, supports. Who are we looking for? Lapis, who's right in front of us. I thought so. Would you sure. like a spirit gem? Back home, though, these bell-shaped flowers. We stuck on the stem. They taste sweet. Do they now? What about horse when you What? What? Yeah, I'll give you two spirit gems. You really wanted it, did you? Oh, Lapis. I wanted to thank you for all of your support in our recent battles. Oh, I didn't really do much out there. I was just following your lead. You don't have to thank me for that, Divine One. There were lots of other more skilled warriors in those battles. You should thank them instead. Lapis, please. You're strong, and you think fast. You should have confidence in your abilities. Confidence? I don't know about that. I'm thrilled to be a retainer, but everyone else is much more qualified. I'm not even a noble. I wouldn't want to sound arrogant when I rank so far beneath everyone else. Wow. You're pretty hard on yourself, huh? I guess that can be a good motivator, but you shouldn't compare yourself to others like that. Everyone has different skills. Be a little more kind to yourself, okay? Like I said, you've earned a bit of confidence. <sighs> but... Well, Divine One, I... <sighs> I'm not sure what to say to all of that. I'm not used to being complimented like this. I should go. Please excuse me. Lapis sounds so sure that she doesn't really belong here. There has to be some way to help her work past that mindset. Alright, that's Lapis and Leah at a support C. I guess I Hello. give some gifts to you then. Considering you're brand new and all, do you like spirit gems? Oh my. Do you like pretty petals as well? Thank you. Not that much. I wonder what it tastes like? Thank you. Please don't eat the pretty pebble. It's just decorative. Divine One, I must say, you have the most evocative eyes. This one's like a cherry tomato. Oh, and that one, a blueberry. Um, thanks, I think. You did mean those as compliments, right? Of course. Tomatoes and blueberries are among the most precious treasures that nature gives us. I am steeped in culinary traditions from all over the world. Ergo, my penchant for food analogies. Ugh. 
So inspiring. I guess it makes sense that a chef would see the world in terms of ingredients. Thank you. No, no. It is I who should be thanking you for allowing me to find inspiration in your tomato and blueberry eyes. How impressive, Bunei. To know about so many dishes from around the world. I have much more to learn, and inspiration strikes me in many unexpected ways. I aspire to experience every flavor inspiration, and to create new recipes for people to enjoy. Wow! I look forward to seeing you do that. A chef must always be up for a culinary journey, wherever it may go. As long as you don't pluck out my eyes with a fork or anything, then I guess we're fine. Sure. Boucheron's managing the desk. Welcome! Okay, Bouch, dispose of Vander's mill, get gone. Now, uh, supports. Uh, we haven't got any with Jade yet. Jade and Amber, we haven't got either with, and they haven't got anything with anyone, so... That sounds like a good idea to go for them. Both like potato soup. She's capable of potato soup, it only gives res plus two, though. It's not exactly the best of meals, but, uh... Sure. Potato soup. Hopefully, Bush Let's makes some great not to soup. Waste nature's bounty. Thanks for letting us use you ingredients. They didn't have a it say in it. It turned out so well. I could cry. Delicious. I love this. I want to order this every day. I might even feed it to the animals. That's how good it is. Potato soup. That's a lot better, actually. I tried packing it up as a meal for you. Defense plus two, res plus two is actually pretty cool. Good job, Boosh, and you got me two supports. What a baller. Kick ass, man. Good job. What are we looking at then? Uh, reference, supports, and supports amongst themselves as well, most likely. Jade, are you okay? Oh, Divine One. I heard you were attacked by bandits. I rushed here to check on you. Thank you, but I'm fine. I drove them all away. Why did they attack you like that? I've run into that group before. I used to be the guard for the mine near my hometown. I stopped them from looting it once. They must have tracked me down for revenge. Now? After all this time? I was pretty infamous among the bandits in our area. They used to call me the Iron Wall. Looks like I'm the target of a few deep, long-standing grudges. But it's fine. I can handle anything they throw at me. They're not much of a threat. I know you're strong, Jade, but I'm still worried. If you ever need backup, you can always count on me. I'll do whatever I can. Oh, I wouldn't want to burden you like that, Divine One. But thank you. I have sports ever see you there. Let's do our combination with Amber. Did Amber kiss me then? <laughs> Huh? Oh! Hey, Divine One! Good evening, Amber. Did you hear those weird sounds just now? Was that you? <laughs> sure was! I was calling out to my old alpaca friends back in my hometown. Say again? <sighs> my hometown is a quaint little alpaca hamlet. I grew up surrounded by them. Sometimes I get a little homesick and miss my fuzzy friends on the ranch. On my loneliest nights, I come out here, look up at the starry sky, and call to them. Oh, so that's what that sound was. Those were the cries of an alpaca. I'm calling out to them in their language. Their... language? I know, I know, it sounds crazy. There's no way they can hear me from so far away. But this is how I get the sads out. When I call to them, it feels like they're right by my side. I don't think that's crazy. I'm sure your feelings are getting back to them somehow, Amber. Aw, oh, thanks, Divine One. You're so nice. Sure. The messages, they're getting there from further afield. So, Fogato, Zelkov, and Kagetsu, we need to find some place, somewhere, somehow. Let's get our arena in. Some of these people are crazy and we need help. This is literally it. This is you just firing supports. 
They boil people down to like generally like a personality element or a backstory thing and then they go for it. This is this is the standard. This is the standard. There's 14 Alfred's 14. Let's get you to 15. And pray for another good I'm level. Alfred, Crown Prince of Firene. I am Zelkov, retainer to Princess Ivy. I think you win. Ooh, you don't win. Oh wait, no, yeah, you lose. Unless you crit the next attack. I'll cut you down. Had this been a battlefield, I would be slain. Whew, I worked up a pretty good sweat. Good win. Defense and build up. Eh, eh. I mean, to be honest, Alfred has had some of our best levels. At least three times he's had good levels, so. Getting some bad levels mixed in isn't terrible. Come on then, Chloe. I am Chloe, Royal Knight of Fear. Oh, she's got Killer Lance on. Oh, that's Glenn, a bit. Divine Dragon Fan Club co-founder. This might work out. I've had my eye on you. Aww, you lost. I always do my best. Now and in the matches to come. Yeah, that did work out. Ooh, strength, max, speed, and luck. At least it's four stats on a level A. I guess it's Aaliyah's fallen a little bit behind now. Oh my god, is Aaliyah like the actual main party member? Well, I actually be Unica now. Unica's fallen behind because of what we've done. What have we done? I'll be your opponent. I am Saline, Princess of Firene. Unfortunately, you are gonna lose. Wait, you what? Dare? Why have you got a Wodell? <laughs> you cut me down most effectively. Somehow I won. I was a bit worried then for a second. Okay, that's a good uh, quick free. We won all of them. We chose the right people at the right time. Just like all of a sudden, like, Wodow, what? What? Princess getting out the big weapons and trying to cut me down. It was too damage. Not too much of an issue. I do wonder if I can get Skirmish in before our next session and do it with characters that haven't been main party to bring them up to around like 14, level 15-ish. It would be more like 14 though, because that's where, uh... Hey! Is that fucking dope? Why me to is such a beautiful place, I've got to admit, you just keep on impressing me. Well, let me gift you... Gems are plenty. Incredible! Incredible! Super conversation, as we know. Fogato, I want to thank you and the Sentinels for your hard work today. <laughs> hard? That was nothing. We didn't have to resolve a single quarrel, and there were barely any corrupted around. I only wish every day was like this. You're so easygoing. <laughs> All the time. That must be why your people love you so much. As your ally, I certainly enjoy working with someone so unflappable. Unflappable, huh? Ooh, I think I feel a blush coming on. But... Thanks for the compliment. How about we grab dinner together sometime? Dinner? Yeah. You, me, and some hard-hitting questions. Like, who is your very best friend, and why? Um, that's pretty personal. You could tell me a super secret wish. You know, one you're too embarrassed to reveal. No, that's even worse. Look, as much as I enjoy your devil-may-care attitude, the banter is a bit much. You'd rather I be all boring and serious? Nah, that wouldn't be me if it wasn't a rascal. I suppose you're right. It is hard to imagine you without that carefree personality of yours. It may be your most likable trait. Maybe it is. Who would you consider to be his best friend? I think Alfred. Maybe Alfred. Alright, we need Zelkov and Kagetsu wherever they are. And that'll do for now. But they could be anywhere.
Or they could be right down here. Or they could not be in the Somniel. I've been wondering about that. If people might not actually be here at all. And they're hanging out somewhere else. But well, that's Kagetsu. We've actually, no, we've, we've seen Selkov, haven't we? Did we not support him enough? Now then. The time is good to do nothing but let your force drift. I will imagine my next opponent. <laughs> Two spirit gems for you. Impressive. Only one's needed. I could quiz you on your lips. What? Go. Okay. Divine one. Divine one. Since you appear human, I am curious. What are the differences between dragon and human? Let's see. We live a bit longer than humans. We're typically stronger and more agile. You're right about appearance, though. We look much the same. Interesting. Oh, is it also true that you slumbered in the Somniel for 1,000 years? What was it that woke you after all that time? Did you tire of sleeping? To be honest, I'm not sure. I see. And what were you doing before you went to sleep? I'm sorry. I don't remember much from before I woke up. <sighs> A pity. You're asking lots of questions, Kagetsu. Why are you so interested in me? Why should I not be? We are friends, of course. Friends? We've actually not spoken that much. To my mind, we have been friends ever since we first spoke. And I like to know my friends. Is it not so for you? Do you not want to be my friend? No, of course I do. Good. Then I would like to know all about you so we can strengthen our bond. So I should get comfortable and brace for more questions. Got it. That leaves one last sea support for now. Though, of course, we'll just probably recruit more guys and have to do more sea supports. We haven't done the fishing yet. But to be honest, it's the same fish again. No, Zelkov, don't go in the water. That is... Lapis? <laughs> I don't know. Where was Zelkov again? I think he was over here. No. Well, if it isn't the living idol. No. Would you care to join me for tea? No, Saline, sorry. I definitely gave him something. And now I've completely forgot where he is. Great. Not down the bottom, that was Vander and He was here! Well, it looks like I can't find him. Or at least he might have moved on. Pursuit. To a different section, like right here. There we go. Uh -huh. It is not inactivity and not itself which perturbs me, but rather a lack of clear purpose. I get that. Here, have the spirit Thank gem. You. Right. Our last sea support for now. What's that you're doing, Zelkov? Hello, Divine One. I am melting wax with which I will produce candles. Oh, wow. Is candle making a hobby of yours? You could call it that. I prefer to think of it as a pursuit through which to kill time. Kill time? Some say you kill time until time kills you. That is my philosophy. I had no idea you were such a profound thinker, Zelkov. <laughs> Not at all. I may speak in a way that suggests a deeper meaning, but rarely is that actually the case. It is simply another way of killing time. Idle amusement, nothing more. Wow. What is it? Your eyes are possessed of a most curious twinkle. I guess I just find your outlook fascinating. It's a whole new perspective to me. Somehow it feels like you know a lot of things that I don't. <laughs> You are interesting. Perhaps next time we chat, I will show you an interesting place. Now I'm curious. I will keep the nature of it a surprise for the time being. All right. I look forward to it. I think Elia just generally likes not having to talk about himself all the time, considering everyone is constantly doing so. 
So it's actually quite nice when we get to avoid it. So we have a lot of supports done. And obviously more achievements now are waiting down here. My poor money. My poor money. All the supports we've got on the seaside, we get lots of 30 points of bonding. We're at 156 achievements at this point in time. They come thick and fast. Deployed Alchris five times. Defeat 100 corrupted foes. Block an attack five times. Four chain attack with three units. Cook ten times. Defeat an ally in the arena ten times. Defeat an emblem in the arena ten times. Clear chapter 12. And that is it. There is one point of curiosity for me at this point in time. I have to say. And I might just depart for the world map quickly. Which will show us to our next location, I'm pretty sure. And that is... I didn't think that if I did my paralogue, or my, their power paralogue was there, that it would stay or not. Meanwhile, before we even do another map, two different things have appeared. Onwards, a chapter 13 the Oasis Village is a level 15 mission, which is our level. Let's just run it back quite a bit. We of course have that level 19 paralogue. I'm guessing it's still there and it doesn't go away and there's not a timing for it. That's what I'm worried about. No, it's still there. Base class 19. Donation levels at 3. So if I go all the way down here, the other thing we've managed to unlock is... Paralogue Planes of Swift Winds. That is also base class level 19. A place of significance to Emblem Lin. Here the Divine Dragon will face an important trial. So we have two power logs involving two different emblems. We have a main mission to go for. It looks like we have a lot to do. Do we go on to chapter 13 next, considering it is the lower level mission? Or do we try one of these two power logs and boost ourselves up a bit? Fight out for them. Fight them up. There is some gold guys around that need to be dispatched by the look of it. That's just training, supposedly. That's different. Skirmish and training, they are completely different things. What the hell? I did not know that was a thing. We'll have to probably check that out in the future too, the differences in training or not. So... With that said and done, we will continue on next time for more Fire Emblem Engage. Chapter 13 awaits and special paralogs. I'll see you guys next time for more. Hopefully playing better. Bye-bye. <laughs>